Thanks. We're all familiar with the famous story of the boy who never grew up. But how did Peter Pan become Peter Pan? That's the premise of the new movie Pan as the orphan travels to Neverland and discovers his destiny with help from a friend, at least for now, James Hook. Take a look. At least you know where you come from. Born to a warrior, heir to a prince. Does that mean you're the one? I don't know. I don't know if there is a one. Garrett, um, Garrett Hedlund here. You played James Hook. Good to see you, buddy. Yes. Good morning. Good to see you. Morning. Did, now, did you grow up, like so many of us, loving this tale of Peter Pan? I, I mean, I, uh, I think the first time I watched it, well, I, I watched Hook, but um, um, I never watched the original until we actually I signed on to the film. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Didn't yeah. have it on the cattle ranch in Minnesota? No. We had three channels, and, and yeah, I didn't. Uh, I don't know if it's really depressing or not, but yeah, I didn't really grow up with fairy tales so much. What was fun for you for this movie? This is this probably the, the this is a heavy Joe Wright reimagination of the yeah. original classic. Yeah. Obviously, things are different. Tell me about James Hook and how he has he's not actually the hook that we know. Yeah, he's hook without the hook in this one. Um, um, it's it's an origin story. It's a wonderful story written by uh, uh, Jason Fuchs, and the script was just wonderful. When I read it, and obviously with Joe Wright, who's who's uh, one of the best directors in the world directing it, 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 I was just so excited to see how this would go down. Um, um, it starts off with Peter in an orphanage, and, and he's kidnapped and whisked away to these mines in Neverland to be a slave for Blackbeard, and that's where you meet Hook for the first time. He's been a slave, and, and sort of this deflated version, and he meets Peter and, and sees this boy who eventually flies, and he thinks he's always been able to do it, and he finds his, he sees what he thinks is his golden ticket off this island, and, and they act as allies and try and overcome their obstacles you to... to Get home. You think of Hook, we think of the pirate garb and the mustache and the hat, yeah. but you've got more of a cowboy twist as James Hook. Well, uh, when I first met with uh, Joe Wright, he said, um, you know, we're doing a sort of a new flip on Blackbeard, we're doing a new twist on Tiger Lily, and, and I've always imagined uh, Hook to be somebody that would be out of like an early John Ford film. Like if he wasn't on Neverland, mm -hmm. he'd be happier just being on a horse on the prairie, and I thought that was quite interesting. Give me 20, 30 <laughs> seconds on Blackbeard, the great Hugh Jackman. One of the nicest yeah. guys in Hollywood playing somebody so evil. Yeah, of course. He's, I mean, everybody says it, and it kind of becomes a broken record. He is indeed one of the nicest like people in the world, and he's also one of the hardest workers. I mean, I think he sets a quite a high standard out there for young, you know, male actors yeah. and the, the the mentally and physically and how much work he puts into every and he role is he villainous does. in this. It's a, it's a great yeah. movie. Yeah, he's Thanks, awesome. Brother. Appreciate it. Good to have you. My pleasure. Be sure and check it out. We'll be right back after local news. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.